Hey everyone, this is Tyson with Dexmat, and I'm here today to demonstrate how our CNT yarn can be sewn into fabrics with a sewing machine. This is our brother sewing machine, it's our newest piece of lab equipment, and right here is a spool of 130 micron HS fiber. It's actually available on our website, and I'm going to string it up in the sewing machine and demonstrate for you that the fiber is strong enough to be sewn into a shirt that I have here that we're going to later outfit with LEDs to prove that the fiber is strong enough, also flexible enough, and conductive enough to display uh, a nice little pattern on this shirt. All right, so now I'm just going to string up the sewing machine with the 130 micron yarn. This is the high strength version. Again, full disclaimer, I am not a professional with this equipment. So this is the 130 micron yarn that is strung up into the sewing machine. We're going to start now uh, stitching into this shirt. Again, this logo is going to have some LEDs embedded in it, and we're going to be able to control those LD LEDs with a uh, sew-in controller. What happened? Uh, look at it. Oh man, what? How's that happening? I don't know. I have... uh, not too long ago, we posted a photo that we were sewing our carbon nanotube yarn into some fabric. We had some good success with that fabric. It was a little bit thicker. And after some trials with this t-shirt material, we're finding that the tension control is not accurate enough on this machine and we're getting some needle skipping in our stitch here as you can see. Now what we decided to do to get more repeatability is actually put the carbon nanotube yarn in the bottom side of the machine, so on the bobbin, and we're going to keep the top side of the machine strung with a regular cotton thread. Now we're just going to continue on and create this circuit. Again the CNT yarn is on the bottom of the machine, so the stitch that you're seeing on the top here is actually from a regular cotton thread. All right, so now we have our somewhat finished product. The stitching is all into the shirt. The CNT here has a path coming from the bottom of the shirt where we're going to have our Arduino and our battery pack, and that's going to transmit the power to some select LEDs that we are going to sew into this part and create a little bit of a light display on this shirt that could be a wearable in the future. Again, we're not a professional seamstress uh, artists or however you would call it here, but uh, the circuits are in place, and we'll update you later as this project evolves. Thank you, and uh, see you next time.